Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Nick. I'm with the Chamber, and uh, <clears throat> thank you all for joining today for uh, for our, our October virtual AM Express. So we're excited for what we have to share with you all today. Um, so I just wanted to, to pass along a quick welcome from Kathleen. She's not able to make it on today. She's had some internet troubles, um, but she she says hello to all of you and that she wishes she could join. Um, and just before we get started, I've got a couple of housekeeping things. I've heard a few things wanting to be shared in the chat, please do that. We will be sharing the chat out afterwards. So anything that is said in the chat um, will be shared out. So um, I don't know, Christine, you just mentioned some stuff about uh, about it, some movies. Dale, I think you had talked about potentially throwing something in there. So if you want to put something in, please do so. We'll, sh we'll share it out. Um, and also, if you have any questions for our presenters, also put those in the chat. If we have time to get to them, we'll try to. Um, but then they'll also they'll also see those when we send the chat out as well. So, without further ado, um, I want to hand it over to uh, Katie from RDA and Tiffany from Choo Choo Kachu. They're uh, part of a partnership that the chamber has done um, called Rach MN Food with RDA and Choo Choo Kachu, and they're here to talk about the about that program. So I'll I'll hand it off to Katie here first to kick it off. Thanks, Nick. Good morning, everyone. Um, so as Nick mentioned, we just recently launched a partnership between Choo Choo Kachu, the RDA, and the Rochester Area Chamber of Commerce called Roch MN Food. So just a little bit of a background, um, early on in the COVID-19 pandemic, we, along with other community people, stood up a bunch of websites that were promoting local dining as far as who was doing curbside, takeout, delivery, that kind of thing. Um, and more recently, we were hearing from our restaurant community that this effort was very important to them still, and it was a way to drive real traffic to their businesses. So um, to give you a little bit of perspective, our, um, our support local dining page, and let me share my screen so you can actually see what that looks like. Um, this we launched in mid-March, and so since then, it's gotten 11,800 plus page views. So it was really uh, something that took off and people were, you know, interested in seeing. And so that's kind of why we launched Raj MN Food with this partnership. And um, again, it's a collaboration between our three entities to create a one-stop place for um, up-to-date dining, takeout, delivery options in Rochester. And our support local dining page um, still focuses on our downtown 44 block district, which is um, this area that you see here, um, and it still lists out all those up-to-date details. The partnership um, really makes it easy for Rochester customers to support local restaurants, be it no matter their comfort level of, yes, I want to do indoor or patio dining, or I would just want to grab takeout. So uh, pardon the pun, but people were hungry for certain foods can, you know, search through the ways to dine in at the restaurant or filter by cuisine and location and find a restaurant's menu, hours and offerings that are all updated on one site. And so I think with that, that's a good transition to Tiffany who's gonna show you a little bit of the Rocham and food page and how best to use it. Hi, I'm Tiffany. Um, I'm the creator of uh, Rocham and food page. And this page started in back when COVID first started and it was mostly originally mostly for me because I want to know what's going on and where I can eat because I'm hungry all the time. Um, let me share my screen with you. So if you type in um, chuchukachu.com rach mn food um, slash rach mn food it will bring you to this page or you can also do Raj M, whoops, mnfood.com. And this will also redirect you to this exact same page. Um, so it's easier access. And if you're, you have a restaurant or any food businesses, you can um, hit add a restaurant to the list and it'll bring you to this form and just uh, fill it out. The only thing, that you might need to pay attention for is that links for links, you would have to add, add um, HTTP or HTTPS for it to be able to work. 
and let's look at the listing for a little bit. So um, this listing is pretty uh, straightforward. I try to update every Thursday for, for all the new submissions. And uh, the list is very simple. It's alphabetically ordered. And you can also use the filter on the sides to find exactly what you're looking for, what you want, whether it's there in downtown Rochester, or if you're looking for a coffee shop, brewery, or you specifically want to support BIPOC, um, there are all kinds of filters on the side and amenities too. Like whether you want to dine in or patio is very popular lately um, because of the weather and outdoor dinings super popular due to COVID. And you can easily also easily search for something that you're looking for. For example, we can search for hot chip. This um, search filter works best with specific restaurant names. So if you search for hot chip, then hot chip will pop up. It's pretty easy and simple and straightforward to use. And below this, we have our uh, sponsor by partnership banner. And you can also do a map view of all the restaurants if you want. And you can scroll all the way in and then it'll show you um, names of the restaurants. And if you click on it, then it'll show you all the details that's listed above. And the difference between this list and some of the other lists that are out there is that I really try to create, have everything you might need to know on the same list. For example, um, the social media, the map, uh, the number, what time they're open, and all the links for you to be able to either order online or through Grubhub for delivery, or if you just want to see a menu, or whether they have gift cards for you to support them in different ways. Yeah, so this is it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. You have a question, Tiffany. So how did you come up with this? So why did you create the page? Just so you can connect you know, the consumer with re local restaurants? Yeah, uh, basically when I first started, uh, I noticed that a lot of restaurants were panicking and because of the stay at home order, a lot of restaurants were forced to close. And when they were opening back up, everybody had different hours. And I just had no idea who's open, who's not open. How do I actually get food? And when I click on some of the other listings, they just list a few things. Then I would still have to try to find my own uh, Grubhub page or try to find a menu, try to find numbers. And I just have like 10 different screens opened up. So I wanted to create a page that I can just look at it and just have everything that I want on the same page. Smart, right, thank you. Yeah. So um, I guess this is both to Katie and Tiffany, but what are you guys doing to get this out to the general public? Because when I talk to a lot of the downtown restaurant owners and they're really trying to, um, kind of start a new campaign to bring local back. Um, Rochester hasn't, downtown hasn't been the same event kind of before COVID and this pandemic. And what can we do to help encourage people to come back with, you know, all of the, the mindsets that people have not wanting to go downtown. So I think this is wonderful. It's a great way to get people back. So how do we, how can all of us business owners help get it out to people? <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Katrina. Um, so we launched this uh, last week, or no, not last week. I am forgetting my weeks now, but um, September 23rd, we launched it. Um, prior to that, we sent communications to not only our downtown stakeholders through the RDA, but the chamber. That's why we partnered with them because they had a very broad reach in getting all Rochester area restaurants on board with this um, to get Tiffany's site beefed up before we launched that. So. Um, it's really been weekly public. We've got a, a post going out this morning um, for promoting this website. So, and this will be weekly communication with our restaurants and the general public to say, go support 
of any site and look for ways to support local dining. So I will send out, I apologize, the, the chat feature didn't allow me to add in a, a promotional poster for Rocham and food that we have created. So I will share that with the chamber and feel free to post that in your businesses. It just explains how to get to the site. It's got a QR code and basically what Rocham and food is. And feel free as you're dining out, feel free to use the Rocham and food hashtag on social media and share which restaurant you're dining at and supporting local and they are doing so safely. Well, if you guys create posters or anything, bring some by. <laughs> I'll put them up in, in the trampoline park for sure. Absolutely. So uh, good morning, everyone. This is Sam Gill from, from the Chamber. I hope I'm not interrupting Katie or Tiffany, but I just wanted to A, commend uh, RDA and, and Tiffany for all of this hard work, you know, and, and B, the Chamber is so excited to be part of this partnership because I think, you know, together we can really help uh, drive customers and traffic to these restaurants, the, the places we love to go when it's been a long day and we just don't want to cook, you know, at night um, for our families. So, you know, from a chamber side of things, we're going to be promoting this to our, you know, email communications and our Vantage magazine. But, you know, honestly, we could really use your help. Uh, it's, it's one thing, of course, to you know, eat at these restaurants, but as Katie mentioned, share it out on social media. Um, let people know that this site exists. It's only really as good as the people who visit and use it to find local dining options. And you know, hopefully it gains a lot of traction so that our visitors are seeing it. So before they maybe even come for a town for an appointment, they see dining options that are already kind of planning out their eating strategy, so to speak, or what restaurants they want to visit or, or pick up food from. So uh, I think the beauty of this tool is A, it's, it's a directory, but then also B, it's really easy to share it out, social media, uh, word of mouth, uh, any way that we can make sure people understand that there is one uh, one-stop shop for, for dining options because I'm guilty. I'm a creature of habit. I like to go to my few restaurants, but I always want to try new things. Um, and this gives you a great uh, kind of pathway to do so. So, you know, the chamber is really excited to be a part of this. We're going to be pushing it hard. Eventually, it'll wrap into our Shop Local Safely campaign, where we're really encouraging people to um, buy local, um, kind of what you were talking about, Katrina, um, you know, restoring local. So it's just, this is a really exciting opportunity for all of us to support local businesses uh, and band together. So, um, you know, that's, that's kind of uh, an exciting opportunity, so. Hey, Katie and Tiffany, um, I work with, uh, um, uh, um, I'm Nancy Peterson, and I work with the uh, um, whole um, tourism uh, through Sharpa, uh, promote that. Um, if there's some way that we can get that on there um, with them for tourism and uh, promote it for, because 60% of Dodge County goes out to work and you know, and um, our regional offices for youth development, whatever is in Rochester. But for the whole tourism thing, that would be awesome. And the other thing, I, I'm not an IT person at all, but can we develop a, like a Rochester app, you know, for some of these things where you can just have it in your computer and you can just hit the app and, um, and you can get things like this for the future? Is that possible, Sam? Well, I know there's been some initiatives um, to build an app, Nancy. I know Raj MN Strong was an app that was developed at the beginning of, of the pandemic. And I think DMC has an app that was unrelated to the pandemic, but has since um, uh, you know, allowed visitors to see what opportunities there are in Rochester from a, you know, entertainment and dining, um, you know, and I think that's certainly a, a, an idea to consider um, and, you know, certainly welcome any more thoughts on how we can maybe make that a possibility. Um, but the beauty of this site is that, it, you know, Tiffany worked really hard in it and spun it up, you know, um, really fast. And so it's usable, it's user friendly. Um, Tiffany, how is it mobile optimized? Can people check this on their phone? Yes, this is mobile optimized, so definitely you can check it on the phone. And if you're using your phone, you can also have an added to home screen option. So it will just show up as a button on your home screen. And when you click on it, and it just brings you to the website directly. The other Great. thing I want to mention quickly is uh, or Experience Rochester, the local convention and visitors bureau also has a link to this on their website. And I know they were trying to work through maybe adding this information to get their app updated. It's the Wet and Rosh app. So if you look for that, they would also have some updated dining options, hopefully in the near future. 
I'd be interested in hearing reactions from folks on, on the line. What do we think of this site? Is there plans to use it, share it out? Does anyone have any initial impressions? I see Jeff, I'm putting you on the spot here. I know uh, you're recent to the chamber and the community. Do you think this will be helpful as you look to get lunch some days or um, maybe late dinner if you stay in the office a little longer or coming home? Thanks for putting me on the spot there, Sam. <laughs> uh, I think it's a fantastic idea. And as I sit here in silence, I am thinking about ways that I can share it and tell people about it. And for sure, coworkers, family, things like that, I'll make sure they're aware of it. I, I mean, um, everybody, like Tiffany said earlier, everybody's looking for food and convenient, easy ways to maybe try something different or just know where I can go when and get what I want. So love the idea. And I'm thinking of ways that I can share this out. Great. And I see we have a representative from Doubletree on the line. I'm sorry, I can't quite make out who's with us today, but from a guest perspective, is this going to be a helpful tool for you as maybe guests come and are looking for dining options locally and point them to this site? Yeah, this is Melissa Wild with the Doubletree. Thank you for asking the question. Um, yes, I think very much so. It's, we always have guests on site that are looking for dining options, especially now um, in the downtown Rochester area, different locations have been closing and not closing. Um, and so it's really confusing for our guests just to kind of know what is open and when it is open. So absolutely, this is a great tool. Wonderful. Well, and we're obviously, um, you know, updating this as we go and welcome any of your feedback. So let's say, you know, you hear from some of your guests, please, you know, reach back out and share that feedback because we'd be happy to incorporate it and make any tweaks as necessary. You know, obviously the goal with this is to um, make it as, as Tiffany said, um, as accessible uh, and as easy to use as possible and make sure it's a resource for, for the community. So um, does anyone else have any reactions to this tool or how you think you might use it? I just want to, <clears throat> this is Doug Schomer, I just want to shout out to both Tiffany and Katie uh, and the Downtown Alliance. Great job on this. We really appreciate this. You know, my wife and I have talked about this since, uh, since April, actually, on how, you know, we can continue to try to support uh, the, some of the business people uh, during a time like this so we you know we'll do the carry out thing and we kind of got stuck in a rut with the places that we know so this will give us some additional options to to increase that uh, uh that opportunity so thank you so much that's great doug thanks and one thing i'd encourage folks to do as well is if you're looking for your favorite place on this tool and you don't see it you know, reach out, encourage them to just quickly fill out the form. Um, we're trying to add as many restaurants as we can, but you know, obviously they're they're quite busy trying to run their business. Um, but uh, let's say you you know you see your favorite spot on there, encourage them to fill it out or let them know about this tool at least, because uh, that'd be a great way to uh, add more to the tool. Obviously. So. Could I ask one more question? Um, I commute into town, and often there's meetings or something that I have to uh, go to. Uh, from Dodge Center and coming to Rochester to work where my business is at or my clientele are at. Um, and often sometimes it's an early meeting and I want to look for a breakfast site, you know, because I'm, I'm um, medically, I have to have breakfast in the morning for my meds and stuff. And so um, I always am looking for uh, good breakfast spots. I have a couple, but um, do you have it broken down into uh, like uh, those that are serving breakfast, lunch and dinner? Um, is it broken down in that way? I guess that's a question I personally uh, want to ask if, if, because I often am looking for good breakfast places. So I don't have it broken down into breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but I do have a bre breakfast and brunch category just because oh, I yeah. personally love brunch and breakfast. So <laughs> there's okay. that. And also coffee shops um, usually have pastries. So coffee shop is its, its own category too. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Awesome. And thank you, Katie and Tiffany, again, for, for your partnership and for Tiffany for making the site. Um, we're super excited to, to be partnering with you and, and getting the word out. Um, so thank you very much. And, uh, and so we're going to kind of keep moving along. Well, thank you to the chamber as well for partnering. Yes. Yes, and uh, and so we will keep moving along, um, and we'll send out some of that information that uh, Katie and Tiffany talked about after the event. 
Um, so the next part of the program, I want to I want to let um, Anna from RPU talk a little bit. She's got a little update on some funding things coming out of Rochester Public Utilities. So, Anna, take it away. Hi, Sharde. Good morning, everybody. It is so great to see so many of you joining in. Um, Katie and Tiffany, what a great idea. Um, just real briefly, it popped in my head. It would be great to get those posters uh, put in employers' uh, lunchrooms and break rooms and bulletin boards. And as you're going home, you definitely are thinking, what am I going to do for dinner? So <laughs> just an idea. Um, but anyways, my name is Anna Beshimamovic. I am uh, Energy and Environmental Advisor with Rochester Public Utilities. Um, today, um, thanks to the Chamber, I'm going to be updating you guys on the CRF program that uh, we have been running for a while. As some of you may already know, RPU has been awarded funding from the city of Rochester, uh, from the CARES Act actually, to be used towards our CRF program, which was created to help offset some of the utility costs for commercial customers. Uh, these funds are distributed in a form of a credit towards your utility bill. So this is not a loan. This is not any kind of funding that you have to be um, repaying. It's strictly towards your utility bill with Rochester Public Utilities. Uh, there are three main uh, qualifying criteria. Uh, there are actually a list on our website, but the three main things is that you have to be a registered uh, Minnesota business. Um, you do have to show some kind of um, economic hardship. So whether you were closed due to the governor's executive order, or if you have a PRL statement uh, for 2019, 2020, we can take a look at those as well. Um, and then of course, I wanna make sure that you are an RPU active customer. Uh, two main takeaways from this brief presentation is first, your applications must be submitted by October 16th. You think October, it's so far away. We already are in October. We only have two more weeks to disperse these funds. And uh, it's kind of, if we don't disperse them, they go back to the federal government. So let's rally up. Let's contact as many small businesses and uh, business community in Rochester. Make sure we spread the news. Uh, everybody can use a little uh, bit help towards the utility bill, I would imagine. Um, the second is an email address I'm going to share with you guys, which is rpumarketing at rpu.org. So rpumarketing at rpu.org, that's where you're going to be sending your application. Quickest way to get a hold of me, I'm monitoring that email address all day and almost all night sometimes. <laughs> so if you have any questions about the program or actually in general towards your commercial account with RPU, I can certainly help you with uh, any of that. Um, thank you, Chamber, for letting me kind of pop in your programming here this morning. Um, thank you all for joining in and uh, make sure you uh, visit our website, rpu.org. Uh, give me a call. I'll share my information in the chat room, uh, email address. Everything is out there. The application is on our website, on our main page, you'll see a link that says financial assistance for small business. Once you click that link, it'll take you to a second page. Scroll down to the bottom. The application is a PDF format. Fill it in, send it out. If you're missing any information, I'll be calling you right away. It's a quick process. So let's, uh, let's get this done and let's get some assistance uh, in this critical time for our commercial customers. Um, that's all I have uh, for you today. Um, thank you, Nick. Thank you, Chamber. And um, Nick, I'll pass it back to you. Awesome. Oh. Hey, can, I, can I add one thing to that? Um, Anna, of course, thank you so much for giving an update. And uh, you've been so transparent and a great partner. And, and this is much needed relief. I do also want to call out, it looks like there's traction recently. And maybe Katie can update us on this as well. It looks like there's going to be a parking voucher system also as part of the city's CARES Act support for downtown. Is that, is that correct, Katie? Was, in, was the RDA listed as a partner for that? Um, I believe I saw a recent news release. So um, I would just encourage all businesses to stay tuned. Um, you know, the city is going to hear a CARES Act update at their city council meeting on Monday, and there's likely going to be more relief as part of that economic support um, a CARES Act allocation. So there are going to be more opportunities. Uh, and of course, the chamber will stay on top of it and, and send out updates when possible, uh, but just wanted to also make you aware that um, there's also other funding opportunity support measures as well. So, um, sorry, Nick, just wanted to insert that quickly. No, Sam, thank you for the update. Um, and thank you for the update, Anna, as well. Um, and, and just before we start introductions, we're gonna do 
Um, just kind of a, a brief intro of, of one of our newest members in town. Um, we did this last month with Crave, and now we're going to do it this month with, uh, with John at Pepin Manufacturing. So, um, John, if you just want to give us a quick introduction, give us a little, a little um, detail on what your business is about. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. So um, what Pepin uh, does is we're first off, we're a, we're a contract manufacturer. We're out of Lake City. And uh, so I'm calling from my Lake City office here. We also created about two years ago our Wabasha, Minnesota factory. So we are family owned. We're privately held. We've been around in business since October of 1993. So we're uh, definitely, uh, you know, close to 28 years old business here. And so what we do is we work with typically medical device engineering. A customer has a device that they want that's usually made out of tapes, adhesives, films. And then we use what's called a roll to roll process where we laminate and we die cut parts out to a finished part. So as an example of things that we produce, I'll kind of show you guys real quick. Uh, we produce TENS electrodes. So under our brand, and so we have electrodes for pain management and we package them and pouch them in, in house. And because of our claim to fame with our quality, we um, major league baseball uh, and the NFL, um, you know, Denver Broncos were playing last night. They're a customer that uses our product on their athletes. You know, Clemson University, we do logo electrodes for customers. So we have printing in house. So we do a lot of custom printing. And so in a nutshell, what we, what we do is we make products that are disposable that usually stick to skin and help for, for patient care. Um, more recently, just to kind of switch gears, uh, Mayo Clinic came to us, uh, the director of supply chain back in uh, March before the pandemic, and Mayo was extremely low on face shields. And they were basically saying, Pepin, have you ever made a face shield before? And I told uh, Bruce Mayo, who's the director of supply chain for the enterprise, I said, no, we haven't, but we'd love to help. And so within literally about two days, uh, they're about a week, a week short of running out of face shields for all Mayo Clinic on all 150 locations. And uh, we wanted to step in and help. And they asked me, Bruce asked, well, I know you never made one, but when can you make a prototype Pepin? So I talked with him on a Saturday back in March. And that Monday, two days later, Pepin made our first prototype. And uh, within Tuesday, he took that prototype back to the other supply chain managers at Mayo, and they approved it by Wednesday. And then by Thursday, we got a PO for our first 100,000 face shields. Um, so what we're producing now for not only them, but we produced for um, many other healthcare facilities is this face shield that we launched. So we're making this in Lake City right now. Um, the success story of that, just to catch you guys up, is uh, not only did we produce 100,000, we did such a good job for them and helped them. We, they gave us a total of 300,000 uh, face shields we made just for Mayo Clinic. And what we did to help them is we did a, uh, the, the supply chain, the nurses, they wanted adjustable strapping. So what we did is we had a medical bobbin system that we implemented. So, and we die cut the holes in the elastic strapping, the headband. So now you can adjust it. Um, other face shields are not adjustable. Other things that we've done is uh, thicken the foam on it. So the padding's thicker. So, you know, you don't have to worry about um, any issues with comfort because they're wearing these eight, 10, 12 hours a day, these nurses. So we want to make sure they're comfortable. Also the fog, um, there's anti-fog properties on the, this is a polyester film that we die cut to the shape. There's anti-fog on both sides. So in, in a nutshell, what we are at Pepin, we're a solution provider. We were able to help Mayo Clinic produce 300,000 that they deployed to Jacksonville and the, uh, the Phoenix locations and all over to help satisfy and re-ramp them up. And we were producing at one point 12,000 face shields a day we were shipping out from Mayo Clinic. So who Pepin is, is if you have a uh, disposable that needs manufacturing, whether it's tape, adhesives, films, um, uh, wound dressing, anything we can do uh, to help, we do that. Well. John, um, that is quite impressive, and that ingenuity is really inspiring. And considering it is Essential Worker Appreciation Month, you know, uh, we thank them and also thank you for producing the products that that keep those men and women uh, on the front line safe. So that is truly special. We're excited to have you at the chamber, um, and uh, that's that's quite amazing. Got it. And just my, my, my last comment here is we have about uh, outside of my office, 8,000 face shields. 
We are trying to deploy to anyone who needs them. So um, if anyone here needs them for your, um, your employer, or we talked about restaurants, you know, I know Katie and Tiffany talked about the restaurant industry, you know, a lot of these, these uh, restaurant workers, let's say you're a line cook, you don't, you hate wearing a mask. It's, you know, you get uh, claustrophobic. Well, this is a great option for restaurants, for instance, and their, their servers to have face shields. So we are uh, not only selling to Mayo Clinic, but who is ever interested, please contact me and I'll put more information below in the chat box. What a great success story. Congratulations. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks, John, and, and welcome to the chamber. We, as Sam said, we're so excited to have you as members, and uh, and it was great to see you out already participating in the golf tournament and, and being at things like uh, like here today. Um, and so we are going to go to introductions now. So I'm going to toss it over to my colleague Sam to to talk a little bit about the ground rules and then uh, get it going. So Sam, take it away. Great. Um, thanks, Nick, and uh, we will uh, get through these. And if you, many faces look familiar, so I think you're, uh, uh, you know what's going to happen. But I'm going to share my screen. I have the list of participants. Um, some folks obviously didn't show up today, but uh, once you do see your name coming up on the list, if you could just take yourself off mute and get ready. Um, and if you want to give us your business, your name, your business name, and a brief tagline, uh, as we have always done at Amespresso. So I'm going to share my screen and we will get started. So um, first of all is Heather Barnes on the line. Heather? No. Uh, Jeff Burns? No. Carissa Drake? Oh, beer for three. Wayne Stenberg. Wayne, I see you on the line. Wayne Stenberg, um, ability building community, celebrating abilities one person at a time. Great, thank you. Um, Niles Peterson. Hi, I'm Nils Peterson. I'm with Aris Beyond. We uh, kill COVID in airborne uh, scenarios. Katrina. Hi, guys. Katrina Pullum. Um, I'm with Aaron Sandy Trampoline Park and um, Do North Coffee Company. Thank you guys for having me. Thanks, Katrina. Uh, Brian. Brian Hale. Um, all right, Brian, uh, let's do, is Bruce Bueller still on the line? Nope. Lindsay Sowers. Nope. Uh, Christine Erke. Good morning, Christine Erke from the Centerstone Plaza Hotel and Twigs Tavern and Grill, uh, taking care of you every step of the way. Great. Thank you. Um, uh, Alexa Hepner. Jeff Enneke. Good morning, I'm Jeff Anneke. I'm with uh, DBS Group. We are a design build contractor. Uh, originally from Onalaska, Wisconsin, the business is headquartered here. We are uh, opening an office in Rochester. I am a Rochester native and happy to be a part of all of the chamber activities. I had a great time, uh, a little bit cold, but I had a great time at the golf tournament on Monday. Yep, thank you and, and thanks for coming out and supporting the chamber. Uh, John Van Camp. Good morning, everyone. John Van Camp with Edward Jones, helping individuals and small business owners to organize, build, preserve, and distribute wealth wisely. Thank you, John. Uh, Quinn. Hi, good morning, all. Quinn Proffer from Epic. We're a software company uh, downtown in One Discovery Square. Thanks, Quinn. Uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah Cook, National Sales Manager here at Experience Rochester. Thank you, Jeremiah. Holly. Good morning. Holly Bremer with Farmers Insurance and Financial Solutions here in Rochester. I'm just north of Costco, um, where you may think insurance is too expensive, but is it really when you need it? Thanks, Holly. Um, Amelia. I'm Amelia with Healing Rhythms Music Therapy, empowering lives through music. Thanks, Amelia. Karen Hansen. Karen Hansen, Home Instead Senior Care, providing um, home health care for seniors in the comfort of their own homes. Great. Thank you, Karen. And thanks for your help with the candidate forum uh, this past week. Um, You're welcome. Jamie. Burke. 
Jamie Bjork. Hi, good morning, everyone. Jamie Bjorke with JLB Marketing and Consulting. I am the owner there, and um, we help busy business owners develop their marketing strategies and implement them so they can get the greatest results. Um, also, I'm a volunteer with SCORE. We help entrepreneurs who are in their business, just getting started um, or retiring from their business, um, and we are volunteers that help them. Thank you, Jamie. Donovan. Hi, I'm Don Mengeski for IMEG Engineers. We provide all types of engineering services throughout the state of Minnesota. Thanks, Donovan. Shannon. Good, good morning and happy Friday, everyone. This is Shannon Day with Madonna Towers and Madonna Living Community of Rochester. I am the sales manager where we have independent living, assisted living, memory care, short-term rehab and long-term care options. I'm also a chamber ambassador. Have a great day. Great, thank you, Shannon. Uh, Jeff Winter. Good morning, Jeff Winter with Med City Creative, helping small businesses stand out and grow. And I'm also a chamber ambassador. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, Nancy Peterson. Good morning, uh, Nancy Peterson, um, and 38-year um, um, vocational educator, extension and community services, youth development, um, and president of Nancy's Home and Garden Extravaganza, LLC, and um, 11 families in Rochester, and a pilot site in Dodge County, and then also um, a founder and CEO of Bench, uh, Bench Cube Consulting, LLC. Um, and Living and Leading with Purpose 2020, Building a Strong Community, Together, Greater Rochester Area, COVID-19, Recovery and Reform. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, Lori Ackerman. Good morning, Lori Ackerman. I volunteer as a Chamber Ambassador. I work for Opportunity Services. Our slogan is Pride, Put It to Work, where we help people with disabilities find work in the community. Thank you. Well, thank you, Lori. Uh, Lori didn't mention she's the chair of our ambassadors, um, so and she does a great job for us. So thank you, Lori. Uh, John Solberg. Yeah, John Pepin here, um, new member and uh, chamber member, and then uh, we make manu medical manufacturing. Uh, we're a manu manufacturer of uh, devices, and then uh, currently we are producing face shields for the community. Great. Thank you, John. And one thing I should have mentioned when you did your new member introduction is we have Pepin listed on the Chamber website under our PPE providers. So I'm sure John will list his contact information here, but you can also check the Chamber website uh, if you want to follow up and, and access those face shields. So thank you, John. Awesome. Um, Judy. Judy Vanstead, Premier Bank, hiring the friendliest faces in town. We do have a mortgage loan processor uh, position available full time. Wonderful. Thank you, Judy. Uh, Kirk Rubato. Kirk Rubato from Profile by Sanford Rochester, a wellness and co health coaching for businesses and individuals. Have a great weekend. Great. Thanks, Kirk. And, and also thanks for sponsoring a whole lot of the golf outing. I know it was chilly, but it uh, looked like you made the most of it. So thanks for that. Um, Christopher Williams. No. Um, how about Terry Lee? Oh, uh, oh, we're Katie Adelman. Adelman. Yeah, Katie Adelman, Rochester Downtown Alliance, and the RDA's mission is to create, enhance, and promote a downtown experience that is welcoming, fun, and livable. Thanks, Katie. Anna. Hi, Anna Bashimamovic, Rochester Public Utilities, Energy and Environmental Advisor, or truly just a commercial account rep. Let me help you lower your cost of ut utilities expenses at your business. Thank you, Anna. Christine. Good morning, Christine Beach from St. Mary's University in Minnesota in Rochester. Check out what we have to offer here in Rochester for entrepreneurial programming. Thanks, Christine. And, and also, if folks aren't aware on the call, Christine is one of our newest chamber board members. So thank you for your service and uh, for stepping forward to help lead our organization, Christine. Um, a, do that. That, yes, a person that I accidentally skipped over, but um, I didn't certainly did not mean to, uh, Kim Holst. 
Good morning, everyone. Kim from Assisted Living um, and Memory Care. We currently expanded our new memory care, so we have some apartments open. So if you have anybody looking for memory care or assisted living, I have a few openings in our Riverside memory care. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Micah Johnson. Micah Johnson from Solar Connection and uh, Rochester Repertory Theater. Free solar class on October 10th. It's at the Community Ed website and it is free and it's online so you don't even have to worry about COVID. Thanks, Micah. Um, Heather Donovan. Hi, I'm a business and home lender with Sterling State Bank and I enjoy helping my customers grow their wealth by uh, helping them with good lending decisions. Thanks, Heather. Uh, Dale Covington. Dale, are you still with us? Yep. Yes, I am. I uh, had to unmute. Sorry. Great to be back with you. Um, I am now a commercial vehicle specialist for Harry Browns in uh, Faribault. I will be covering the southern Minnesota region, including Rochester, um, offering what I always have, which is uh, taking the pain out of the purchase for business uh, owners uh, for commercial and fleet vehicles. Thank you. Thank you, Dale. Uh, Beth. Hi, Beth Yochum from Thrive, and we help small businesses with an all-in-one management software that helps them get the job, manage the job, and get credit. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Beth. Um, do we have someone from Tulip Tree Studios on the line, Abby? Yeah, I'm right here. Hi, everyone. I'm Abby from Tulip Tree Studios, and we help companies big and small branch away from the norm with graphic design, marketing, and advertising. Great. Thank you. Uh, Doug Schomer. Doug Schomer with Visiting Angels, America's First Choice in Home Healthcare, and I'm a Chamber Ambassador. Well, thank you, Doug. Always good to see you. Uh, do we have Michael still on the line? No, it, how about, is there anyone I might have missed? I'm Ashley Bushy with Guaranteed Rate. Oh, go ahead, Ashley. Oh, sorry about that. So we are the fifth largest lending company in the United States. Right now, rates have never been lower. So if you've been thinking about doing a refinance or purchasing your house, now would be the time. Thank you, Ashley. And I believe there might've been someone else too. Melissa with the double tree. Oh, sorry, Melissa. That's okay. Melissa with the Double Tree. Uh, we're making reconnecting made easy. We have safe in person meeting options, hybrid options, and virtual options all here on site. We are ready. We want to help you when you're ready. Hello, I'm Julie Keeney at Winona State University, and we are a trusted workforce training partner for customized training programs. Anybody else? Sam Kirk Boyan with Edward Jones. Hey, Kirk. hey something new. Uh, we just partnered with all this new COVID and the rest. Fidelity Investments has now partnered with Edward Jones. And anyone that's got a 401k with any Fidelities, they can now partner with us and uh, we can manage those assets at no cost for them. So give me a call if anyone's out, or if you know anyone out there with old Fidelity 401k investments. Well, thank you, Kirk. And I don't know if this is intentional or not, but we're getting a beautiful view of your patio chair. Uh, there. Uh, that, that is Oklahoma. That's the Oklahoma backyard this morning. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> well, gotcha. Thanks. Perfect. Thank you for that. Um, wonderful. It, did I miss anybody else? Hi, Molly Lehrman from Madonna Living Community. We are a senior living community, living fully, living well. Thank you, Molly. All right, hearing nobody else, thank you all. That went quite smoothly. Um, I do apologize for those I missed. Um, Nick, I'm gonna turn it back over to you. Awesome, thanks, Sam. Um, and uh, another person I just wanted to highlight, um, if Nils is still on, is his first time here. We talked a little bit yesterday, so he's new. Um, so we just, just wanna give him some love here real quick. Uh, congratulate him for coming. He's a, he's a prospective member. So if anyone else, is this anyone else's first time here? Um, speak now or forever hold your peace and we want to celebrate you. Yes, Jeff. Let's, uh, let's all welcome Jeff here too for the first time. So, yes. uh, Jeff. Thank you. 
Welcome. We're so glad that you came, and we hope that you 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 tune in next next month as well. Uh, For sure. And as as we had mentioned before, we'll be sending out some information um, regarding some of the stuff we talked about today from Raj MN Food. Um, and if you have any questions about RPU stuff, that will be in the chat, which will also be sent out. That is actually all that we have today. So thank you all for joining. We hope that you have a great Friday. Um, thank you to Rach, MN Food, Katie, and Tiffany for, for hosting today. Thank you for Anna for sharing about, uh, about their new funding. And, and we hope you all have a great Friday and a great weekend. Thanks, Thank everybody. you for doing this. Thank you. Bye, y'all. Have a great day. You too. Godspeed. <laughs>